Hello, my name is Patricia Denny. Um, I'm a Navajo from Look Atufe, Arizona. My clans are Tohetlini, Nishlon, Totsohni, Bashishchin, Odo, the Bashishin, Dashiche, Do, Kedachini, Dashinale. I am a rancher, farmer, producer. My main focus at this point is uh, the apple orchard that we have. It's been here since I was a child. I was told that, um, that it, was, it is part of the um, trees, fruit trees that were given way back from the long walk. And um, my family, my mom, my maternal clan, they have come back to this place after the long walk and they've uh, farmed and ranched here. And so <clears throat> with the assistance of the land grant office at the Nye College, I've been able to revive the farmland and um, focusing more on the apple orchards. I hope to continue that and renew that and get new trees going for the future. To date, we have about 12 apple trees. We have some um, apricot trees and peaches as well. But my main focus is um, continuing with, with the apple trees. I would like to um, plant more trees, new trees. Uh, we have about five trees that have just gotten so old and died. Um, and where I would like to plant the new trees is in a, a different spot just next to the orchard where I have found that there's a runoff system from the rains that we get in the summertime and it would be perfect for, for them to grow there and that's the next goal is for planting new trees and some of the work that we've done with the land grant with the assistance of the fighting the, um, interns staff that to come and um, help with uh, pruning apple trees, with uh, watering, with um, <coughs> soil samples. There have been many workshops, monthly workshops that we that was provided. Uh, some of which is the uh, soil sampling, um, and irrigation systems, and also the Schedule F uh, tax um, schedule that we could use come income tax time. And um, another goal is to um, work with local restaurants and schools as a producer to provide apples uh, for them. Another goal I have in mind is to fence off the orchard and to continue uh, ways to water. Uh, right now we have to haul water from a well and um, <coughs> Also to uh, give it nutrients so that we can have a real good harvest. And then um, some of the things that the land grant office has also assisted me in is uh, providing seeds and helping me with uh, planting other uh, plants like corn, melons, squash. And they brought their tractor in and plowed the field for me and did the discs. Um, that was very helpful. I'm very thankful for, for all that, that they do and the interns that come out and all the uh, volunteers that have come out to help me with my orchard and my farm. And uh, some of the materials that the land grant has, has um, given us are um, soil samples and talking about the different types of samples and what grows best and what uh, uh, samples what, uh, and then also uh, moisture readers and other tools such as uh, <clears throat> the, the long apple pickers and things like that and they provide tools to um, help me with my farm my orchard harvesting apples here brings back a lot of memories as a child we um, were always here to help with the farming, with picking the apples. And some of the things that we do when we harvest our apples is that we uh, slice them up and we um, freeze them. But first we, we go according to, um, we sort them. Some of the apples are <coughs> bruised from dropping 
And we have to be very careful with the, the yellow delicious apples, that's what they're called. And um, the bruised, badly bruised ones we give to the sheep or to the horses. And um, some we freeze for um, gatherings, make meat pies. And some are for canning, so, and uh, that's where I would like to learn more about is the canning technique. And also, uh, some we give to our relatives and um, family members. And uh, this place is known as Tsekohotsoi. The many people um, are surprised to find that the apples have survived and that they're still here. Um, in English, we call it's all, it's known as. this place. It's a desert area, but when you